The investigation into the explosion at Liverpool Women's Hospital, led by counter-terrorism policing, is continuing at pace. The circumstances, as we understand them to be, are that yesterday, shortly before 11am, a local taxi driver picked up a fare in the Rutland Avenue area of Liverpool. The fare, a man, had asked to be taken to Liverpool Women's Hospital, which was about 10 minutes away. As the taxi approached the drop-off point at the hospital, an explosion occurred from within the car. This quickly engulfed it in flames. Remarkably, the taxi driver escaped from the cab. He's been treated for his injuries that he sustained, and he's now been released from hospital. Emergency services quickly attended the scene, and Merseyside Fire and Rescue extinguished the flames. It quickly became apparent then that the passenger remained in the vehicle and was deceased. Army Ordnance Disposal Officers have examined the scene at the hospital and made the area safe. Following discussions with Army Ordnance Disposal, we are able to confirm that this is being treated as the ignition of an explosive device. Our inquiries also indicate that the device was brought into the cab by the passenger. We believe we know the identity of the passenger, but we cannot confirm this at this time. Our inquiries have led us to two addresses. The first was Sutcliffe Street in the Kensington area of Liverpool, and at this location, three men, aged 21, 26 and 29, were arrested yesterday under Section 41 of the Terrorism Act. A short while ago, again in the Kensington area, a further man, aged 20, was arrested under Section 41 of the Terrorism Act. They will be interviewed later today by counter-terrorism detectives. The Sutcliffe Street address was searched overnight and further searches will take place today. A second address has also been searched at Rutland Avenue in Sefton Park. At this location, significant items have been found. Further searches will be necessary today and potentially into the coming days. A cordon is in place at this location and eight families have been evacuated at this time. The scene at the hospital remains in place with specialist examinations ongoing. It is not clear what the motivation for this incident is. Our inquiries indicate that an improvised explosive device has been manufactured and our assumption so far is that it was built by the passenger in the taxi. The reason why he then took it to the women's hospital is unknown as is the reason for its sudden explosion. We are, of course, aware that there were remembrance events just a short distance away from the hospital and that the ignition occurred shortly before 11 a.m. We cannot, at this time, draw any connection with this, but it is a line of inquiry which we are pursuing. Although the motivation for this incident is yet to be understood, given all the circumstances, it has been declared a terrorist incident and counter-terrorism policing are continuing with the investigation. Our inquiries will now continue to seek to understand how the device was built, the motivation for the incident, and to understand if anybody else was involved in it. Thank you.